evening, sir. Good evening, Dipendra. How are you? All good, sir. How are you, sir? I am good. Sir, today is a new new talk on gap non-union management. Sir. No, it is the same patient which we discussed last oh. time. Okay, sir. So, so today is a surge. Yeah, the I've already operated on this patient. Yes, sir. So I thought I'll just uh, tell them about what we did. So it is and not an discussed. interactive, sir. Oh, uh, we can make it partly inter interactive. Okay. Okay, sir. Or so, so, sir, uh, some uh, part of us... it will be interactive. Then I'll okay, tell sir. them. Okay, sir. All right. So, sir. Okay, sir. So, let us know, sir, when you can start, sir. Uh, yeah, I am ready. Rajka, I am ready. Ji, sir. You have the students. Uh, recording on, sir. Ready. Start, sir. Good. So, uh, good greeting, everyone. I am Dr. Deependra from Conceptual Orthopedic, and I welcome you all in today's connection with Professor Anil Dal, sir. And today, sir, is going to continue the management of uh, the case discussed last week. That is the management of gap non-union of fracture septa femur in a children. So I think this talk is going to be very interesting and useful to all of you. So without any more delay, I welcome you, sir, on the board. And I request you all, please do interact. So those who want to interact, you can put the name in chat box or you can uh, raise your hand. Now it's over to you, Professor Dalsa. Thank you, Dr. Dipendra, and uh, welcome all the postgraduate students who are with us today for this session. So, as uh, has already been delineated, that this patient is the same case which we had discussed last time, uh, a gap non-union of the child's femur. And uh, today we are going to talk about the surgical procedure that I performed on this patient. So is there anyone who can briefly interact with me? Because there are certain things which we can have an interaction and then I can tell you what I did. Uh, any so patient, any, any, anyone... any student? wants to participate uh, dr sushil kumar arnav subham it will be a short interaction not all the way but just for a few slides so if you want to interact i think you can raise your hand anyway it doesn't matter if there is no, uh, no one we, we can go ahead because uh, this is something which I have to tell you majority of the times. Sir, Sushil, so Kumar, will... Sushil Kumar want to interact, okay. sir. Okay, very good. Sushil, welcome for the interaction. Uh, yes, sir. So... Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening, Sushil. So, Sushil, you will re uh, recollect if you were there last time. Uh, were you there last in the last uh, session? For... Yes, I attended the last case? session, sir. Yes, sir. I attended. Okay, very good. So just to refresh your memory and all those students who were not present last time, it is my advice to them that they should uh, look up this session on the app, on the Conceptual Orthopedics app, so that there is continuity and they can do it later on. But if they are I'll just recapitulate some of the salient features discussed last time for this case so that there is some continuity of thought. So if you will recall Sushil, this was a two-year-old girl who present who the parents told us that she developed swelling in the right thigh at the age of three months. So when the child was just three months old, she developed a swelling in the right thigh. This swelling, according to the parents, was not associated with any fever. But since the child was uncomfortable, they sought uh, treatment 
they approached a local medical practitioner who was not an orthopedic surgeon who looking at the swelling advised them and performed an incision and drainage uh, and prescribed some medication with this uh, medication incision and drainage and followed by regular dressings for a few days the wound healed and but the problem is that as is usual around the age of 1 year the children start walking or standing and walking but this child was now 2 years old and had never walked in her life and this is the sequence of x rays which they showed me and this x ray sequence did not figure in the last discussion so i will take you through to the sequence so this x rays set of x rays ap and lateral was taken on 22nd of july 2022 so sushil uh this was the time when there was the acute episode of swelling in the thigh so this x ray was taken so do you find any abnormality in this x ray sushil uh, yes sir uh, on the lateral view i see the uh, yeah epiphysis uh, on the distal femoral epiphysis displayed posteriorly uh, okay uh, apart from that there is probably as far as the bones are concerned if you look at the ap view uh, there is no no lesion no bony lesion no osteolytic lesion the mm. uh, there is no periosteal elevation of any sort both in the ap as well as the lateral view this is questionable because we do not have the x ray of the normal side but otherwise the shaft of the femur the proximal end of the femur everything seems to be normal so this is a lesson to be learned that in the cases of acute infective pathology of osteoarticular region there may be no evidence of infection radiological evidence of infection in the initial phase so if the x ray is taken within probably the first week you will find nothing on the x ray now look at this x ray which was taken barely about 2 weeks later 7th of august that was 22nd of july this is 7th of august so about 15 16 days later what do you find now sushil yes sir yes sushil please describe the findings is sushil there Yes, sir. I'm here. Yeah, Sushil, can you see the visual? Can you see the X-ray? Yes, I see, sir. Okay. So I'm first unable and foremost, to... yeah. Please go ahead. I'm unable to find, sir. You are? I'm unable to find any. Unable to find anything. Uh, are you seeing the X-ray of seventh? August, twenty twenty two. Yes, I see, sir. So, can I? Can you not appreciate this periosteal new bone formation, which is there, and the yes, elevation the periosteal elevation? Memory. Yeah, there is a proximal femoral periosteal elevation, and some lytic area, just in the subtrochanteric area or so. and there is an extensive periosteal elevation here the distal femoral physis appears to be normal 
can you appreciate that yes sir so there is no problem with the distal femoral physis but it is this is suggestive of what would what would you call this what would be the diagnosis when you see this sort of an x ray what is the diagnosis Uh, osteomyelitis. So this is chronic osteomyelitis. Once you start seeing periosteal elevation of this nature, then this is no longer acute osteomyelitis. This becomes a chronic osteomyelitis already. And you can see the extensive soft tissue swelling which is there in this patient. And then moving further, this is the X-ray, 25th November. So just about three and a half months later, three and a half months later, what you find is that all the periosteal reaction seems to be resolved now, but there is a gap. There is a gap, gap there, both visible on the AP and the lateral view, distal in the distal femoral region, probably there was a pathological fracture. And as the clinical photograph shows us, uh, yeah, this clinical photograph, 